Okay, can everybody hear me? So here we are, last day of the month, and we have no good shorts today. So, uh, you know, the only possible thing to trade today would be Nike as a long, if it sets up, which I don't know if it will. I did see this last night. It looked better last night than it does now. Still rates good. I rated it. It rates very, very good. But the problem is, you know, that it will have to hold immediately and it really would have been better over 57 and i don't think it's going to make it over there before the open now it could happen though in the first minute or first five minutes of the day so nike over 57 is a good good long but i you know i really would need to see that happen almost immediately and i'm not saying it can't because it absolutely could so i'm going to be wow look at the volume in this now Oh, this is more the double in volume since I rated it. Huh. I'm going to be, um, what's the word? Flexible. AOBC. I don't know. This is all I have here. So AOBC, if that's a symbol, is all I got here for this guy. That's what I'm looking at, journey woman. And that's not enough information for me. VIPS. Again, I'm not doing this. What do I think the market does today? Why do you want to go on the market, Trader Lexi, or why are you asking? <laughs> you want to do an option trade, or why, why are you asking? Well, the market's going to hold. It's not going to fall. It came back around yesterday. We had some slippery slide off into lunch, into the more, er, you know, early afternoon and then we bounced weak bounce but closed and gapping up this morning so we'll hold sure we will let's just watch nike here and i'm i don't know if i'm doing it so i really don't know if i'm doing it and i don't care if i don't do anything today because it was a slow week had a good day yesterday and there really is nothing else to look at So we do have the market, I think, rallies today. If we do go long Nike, had earnings last night. Amazon will be selling Nike products. This very well could rally today on news and earnings. But it's so much better over 57. Let's just see what happens here. Either doing this if it sets up absolutely perfect or I'm not doing anything today. I'm going to keep an open mind. Just remember, if we do this, we're going long. Yep, it's 
going to do it. Wow. All right. So stopping this is going to be 56.40. Here, it's going to make it over 57. Wow. Don't be in it yet. Don't be in it yet. It hasn't set up. Now let's just find out. Okay, we're going to do 90 by 40. Oh, here, here, crap. Get it, get it, get it. There, just went. I got in. I got in, but I'm late. I'm late. In fact, I don't even have to stop in yet. 5640. Take it right now if you want it. Nike. Nike. It went over 57. Here it goes. This is it. Man, I barely had time to call it and get it. I was a little bit late, but we're in it. And here, here, here. Nike, Nike, Nike. Wow. Here it goes. Wow. Here, hold on. I'm going to get out of half of this soon. Here, I hope everybody got it. It didn't even matter that we were late. Here it goes. Wow. Glad I kept an open mind today. Here, 57.50. Can we get up there? You know what? Uh, here, 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 here. I'm going to take it all out if it gets up to 57.50. Nike! Here! No, it didn't yet. Hold on. 39. See, one more push. One more push, 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 push. Come on, Nike, you can do it. Good calls always, Abel's out. Come on, here it goes, Nike. Here, this is it, people. Hand the button over the high. Over the high, over the high, Nike. Galahad, if you didn't get it, you were half asleep. Here, Nike. Here it goes, Nike. Yeah, nice. Here we go, Nike. Here, there, I'm out, I'm out. I took it, I'm done. 50 was the target, I'm out. You could still be in it though. Whoa, here it goes. Over 51, $58. I took it though. I took it, I took it, I took it. Nice quick trade here. Nike up to 58, who's in it? Wow, maybe I got out a little too early there. I wasn't even expecting to do anything today though. Here, Nike, 58 bucks. Anybody else in it? I, I took it all out. 65 was the high. Gator got out. Here, Nike all the way up to 58. Wow. I was late, late on the draw. I saw it and barely got the, price, the sizing in to get it. And I just hit it. I just hit it then. I saw it was gonna go. I saw it was gonna go. I just saw it was gonna go. Wow. Yay. <laughs> Woo! Doo, doo, doo. There, that's it. Happy July 4th. So Galahad didn't do it. Pyro made 873, Gators out. You hate longs, but today it worked. <laughs> yes, it did. Here, let's go over it. It was 57 was the number. Here, let's just, here, is anyone in this right now you need me to watch it? 50, here it goes. It's gonna, I mean, 58 is the number. Here it goes. 57 was the number it had to get over to keep going. Here it is, Nike, $58. Here, I am out, but it's still going. Is anyone still in it? Wow, nice call. Best traders out. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm choking. Oh, I love when they work fast. I just love it. Here, the spy and the cues are not doing anything yet. And so this went completely 150% in its own. Gator hates songs, but did have size. Great call. Good job. All right, listen here. If you didn't get it and it pulls back, I'll call it again. I'm, I'm done. If you didn't get it, though, and it pulls back and sets up again, I'll call it again. And this is obviously, this is it. This is the low of the day in the stock. It's not going to break it. Here it goes. 58. Oh, crap. <laughs> I should have held it. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. It's going to get to 58. Here, let's just see if it could go even past that. Ugh. It could even get to 59 today. <laughs> Nike. Yeah, it could even get to 59. Look at this move. Look at the move it just had. A second ago or five minutes ago or 
five minutes and 38 seconds ago, this wasn't even doing anything. And then it went, took off like a rocket. There, 57.87, wow. Wow. Wowies. Yep. Could have held a little, little bit longer. Is anyone still in this at all? I mean, if I had held it, I probably would have been out there in the 80s. Happy fourth for us is right. So we went long the last day of June. I don't know if there's some irony to that. <laughs> All right, who did what? So a bunch of you did it. Everyone, it looks like, is out. Is everyone out of this? So it said thank you, you're welcome. So if you didn't do it, if you didn't want to go along, that's fine. Uh, if it sets up again, here I'll call it if you didn't do it. I mean, clearly now, obviously, it worked. Here, here let's, let's, let's go over it. I mean, it, it was a good gap. It was a very, very good gap. Actually, Patrick brings a good point because he, he emailed me about this last night and said something to the effect about, oh my gosh, they go so fast, they set up so quickly, do, 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 do. You know what? Yes, absolutely. You're right. But, you know, honestly, this is what I like about day trading. You know, I, day trading is not investing. It is about getting in and getting out quickly, and we play the move. We play the move. This is here. Let's just blow it up. This is the strongest move the stock will have today. No holds barred. Whatever the stock does the rest of the day, unless it rallies all the way up to 63, this was the strongest move of the stock today, and we just played it. I mean, whatever you got at this, whether you got out here, whether you got out here, whether you got out here, we just played the strongest volume of momentum and the strongest move in the stock today. We did it. it. It does happen quick, but I like that about day trading. And you have to remember, day trading is you're just getting in and you're getting out and you're getting the money and you're getting out and it's not investing. It's not about holding. Here, this might set up again. Is anyone going to do this if, they, if I call it again? Because if not, I'm not going to bother giving the call. And then I'll go over the chart. And the entry and stuff. Is anyone going to do it again if I call it? Journey Woman said yes. Pyro, you should be finished for the day with almost 900 bucks. Don't you dare do another trade. Here. I'm going to call this again here if it sets up Nike. I mean, I'll just give you the numbers right now. 60 by 57 if you want it. 60 by 57 if you want it, Nike, if that sets. And if it doesn't, I'll call it, give you another number. Cayman Dude will do it again. Koala Bear didn't do it the first time. We'll do it now. Wild Weasel made 130 bucks with 200 shares. Good job. Yes, nice to get it done quickly. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap on A, the setup, and B, here. Nike actually could do, here, do 50 by 90. Do 50 by 90 if you want to do Nike. In fact, do 50 by 85. 50 by 85 if you want it Nike, you can take it. Here, right, just take it. 50, 50, 45, put the stop at 85 and call it a day. It's setting up again. And it didn't get to, here, you can do this right in here now, people. It's going to hit over 50. Put the stop at 85. Even, even give it a cushion. Give it, give it 80. Give it, give it 80. Give it 56, 80 if you just did it there. It didn't get up to uh, 58, so that's where it's going. All right, here we have the market. So this could help uh, Nike get the move one more time over the number, over the high. We've got the market. It's holding green. I don't know where we go today, though. All right, let's review it. Again, if you wanted to do this again, be in it. Put the stop at 80. Here it goes. It just hit 50. Nike, one more time and just get it one push over the high, people, and then be out. Here it goes. Wow, it is going to go again. All right, so here was the move. By the time I barely got to give you the number, the, a perfect, perfect, perfect entry, which I don't think anybody got because in live time I was doing it, calling it, and it moved so quickly. The perfect entry was here, really 90. And as it was hitting the number, I was pressing it and calling it, and I got filled a little bit after, but it doesn't matter. Got it. Still got it at a great price. Still got in. Still took it. We were all good. 
this happened here, this happened here, this happened here, this happened here, no matter where you got out, you're up. I really was thinking 57.50, and it did it. And then it went all the way up to 87-ish, but did not get up to 58. Again, nice, nice, nice entry here, because I, I gave a tight stop. I mean, all things considered, it was a very tight stop. But, you know, again, it's about making money. So let's just say I still believe this was going to 58 today and didn't get out of any. You know, does that really make sense? No. Is it holding down here? Yes. Is this probably the low of the day? Yes. Would it make sense to be in this entire position even if I believe it's going higher? No. No, it wouldn't make sense. It just wouldn't make sense because you're up too much, too quickly, too fast and you want, to, you want to get out, if not the whole thing, which I did at least half the trade. But this isn't going anywhere down today now. So if you're in it a second time around, your stop is way down here, 56.80. And even if it wiggles and jiggles, it should hold. Now let's review the gap. I can't believe we did this today. I can't believe I did this today. I am so freaking tired. I was getting out of the habit of getting up at 5 a.m. to work out. And now since the summer's come back around, I've been forcing myself to get up at the crack of dawn. I am just want to crawl into bed right now. <laughs> it's, it's like not even 10 o'clock. I am so tired from getting up for the last two weeks at 5 a.m. And going, going, going all day. I just, I'm going to collapse. I'm going to sleep all next week. That's not, <laughs> I'm just going to sleep in the sun out in the roof tech deck lounge. <laughs> like, I can't even believe I did this today. I'm so tired. Here, here, there it goes again. <laughs> here, here it goes. Don't miss your exit on this, people. High over here was 88. If it blows over the high, take it, take it into the number. Here it goes. Journey Woman's getting it. Finally, a good one. Here, over 70. Koala Bear, did you do it? Discipline Dude, did you do it? I certainly hope you people did it, one or two or three or whichever ones you did. Anyways, the funny thing was, I did see this last night. I was like, oh, it's a bummer. Because I wanted it to gap down because I preferred a short. But then I looked at it and I said, wow, this actually is a good long. <laughs> and then I also did Google it and see and read about it. And I guess Amazon now will be carrying Nike products directly from Nike. And that's big news. And so not that that's a reason that we went to, wanted to go long it, but the gap did rate good. So I think there's a lot of reasons why this is higher. And it just would have been, it would have been better over 57, but it apparently didn't matter. And when it hit, I saw it was going to, it was, it was going to that number. When I saw it was getting to that number, then I knew it would get over it. And so it did. So 58, 58, 50-ish, 58.50 with the market today possibly, I don't know. Again, why do you want to trade in a Friday afternoon in the summer? I think it's going to be hard for the market to get over yesterday's high. It might try. We get going here by 10 o'clock, 10.15, the market might try to get over the area and get some serious buying once we get through about half this bar. <clears throat> about half this bar, the red piece of the bar in here. Once we get up over 139.50-ish, it's a dollar plus away, we could really get going in the market. Discipline Dude, did you get it? And do your platform work today. These are the two main situations. Let's go look at all these other things here. But let's go over that. Patrick asked some questions. How do you use the targets and resistance numbers you provide beforehand? Well, we use targets and resistance and targets and support. Today we had the targets and support. Here, let me go back up and scroll up and see what I put in the room. 
Let's just review it. This is what I put because we only had one watch today, which was a long. Here, it's going. Who's still in it? Or the second trade. This looks amazing. I'm really glad I called it a second trade because some of you didn't get the first trade. Uh, so here we have it. So here we have, what's the low in here? This didn't get anywhere near the numbers that I gave for the support. So it actually opened way above the support that I gave. That isn't a bad sign, it's a good sign. So the numbers I gave is, I do. this would not be good if it, if it went under this number, which was the lowest of the supports. So I said 56, it would have been not good and I probably wouldn't have done it if it had broken 56. In fact, I wouldn't have done it if it broke broken 56. But it, 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 it didn't even get anywhere near there. Here, here this goes again. But 57 was a first number, it just ran right up through it and then I really felt like 57.25 and actually I didn't have 57.50 written down in there but I had it in my mind. Here it goes, Nike over the high. Here, 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 here people. Here. I, you're going to get a flurry probably over 58 but the way that this had this red bar here which, which um, Best Trader commented about when he got out. Get out in the green. When it flurries through 58, take it out. Don't wait till it has the red. Go flurry, 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 take it out when the push. Everybody that's in the Nike here, it's gonna get over 58 when it pushes, pushes, pushes. In fact, I'll tell you when to take it. Let's just watch it, if you're still in it. Oh, Green Maverick did the second trade, not the first. Very good. Dirty Woman, how much are you up? Anyway, so I did have that number in my head though, 5750, I guess I didn't write it down. But I really felt that 58 then, if it got over 57, which it which is gonna get there. 94 cents. Six pennies from the number. In fact, where did that here? Here we go, Nike. Here it goes. Let's watch it. Who's still in it? Write it in the room. Write how much you're up. Some of you have a thousand dollar days in here. Nice job, people. Well, what a nice way to end the month. And last week was just, the longs last week were, were, were rough and tumbly. Oh no, I didn't see your, your, no, I didn't see it. Let me scroll up for any moment. You somehow hit short on the first trade as a mistake. Oh, I'm, so, that's not good. At least you recognized it. At least you saw it quick but then you did the second one right. Well, at least you caught it. That would have been bad. <laughs> it wouldn't have been very good if you hadn't caught it. Trader Lexi, did you do this? Did anybody not go long Nike today on either trade? So I do put numbers in the room, Patrick, but they could change. They could change it. They could change in the live day when I'm watching something, and then you just have to listen to what I'm saying. Here it is. Here's the 5750. There. Discipline duty didn't do Nike, and it worked. It worked once. It worked twice. What am I going to do with you, Discipline Dude? You're going to have to come up to New York for a live mentoring session. Trader Lexi did it, got out at 57.50. But got in it a little late, but you made money. That's all that counts. Seven streams watched. It was a bullish gap. That's okay. You're too scared to trade, Discipline Dude. I know you gotta get over it. You gotta get over that hump. In fact, you just answer your own question there. You know, if you're scared to trade, you're gonna have to get over it. That's, I mean, there's, how are you gonna, how are you gonna make money then? If you're scared to trade, how are you gonna make money? If you're scared to trade and you don't trade, then, then obviously you don't lose if you're scared and you don't do it, take it, 
but if you if you're too scared to trade then you won't win either so there's only one solution and the solution is really doing all the calls I make flat Nike koala bears out let's look at the market very strong spy here What are, give me some other things in the sector with Nike. Uh, give me some other other things. Other symbols, people. UA, okay. Let's look at them all. UA, Nike, what else? Foot Locker, Lulu, this isn't doing much of anything here, let's look at Lulu, does anyone want to go over anything for the whole week, or anything at all, next week we're off, we'll send out an email, room's closed, uh, then we come back, and then we'll have the busy time. Lulu is trying to fix itself here. It's trying very hard. And it's almost doing it, actually. So, good for Lulu. Let's look at Foot Locker. Room closed all next week. Market closed half day Monday. Tuesday closed all day in the market. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the market will be dead. Low volume. And if you trade, be very careful. And in my professional opinion, you shouldn't be trading. Even the ones of you that know how to trade without me, I can't see there'll be anything to do next week at all. This week was slow, and it wasn't even the holiday. Trust me, next week won't be any better. We're lucky we got what we did this week. CELG? Shower Singers out of the Nike. Nike just went over 58. All right, I'll go look at it. Hold on. Let's look at this quick. Use think or swim. Uh, Patrick, I've never used sink or swim. Does anyone use sink or swim to help him? I'm sure there's a way without you having to change platforms. You can use what I have, but you don't have to. But if you want to stick with the think or swim and you want to stay with the same broker, I know there's other people here. Who uses sink or swim? Anybody? Some people swear and die by some of these platforms. I, it doesn't matter what you use. This isn't, this isn't, this is, this, this isn't, is this in the same sector? What is this? This isn't doing anything. This is falling. CELG. There's the Nike. Shower Singer, it looks like, had the best exit. Went over 58. Fifty eight eighteen. Journey Woman, did you get out of it? Who who got I think Shower Singer had the best exit on this today. Congratulations. Yep, there it was. So here's a helpful tip. And then and then we're just gonna I'll give you some watches for next week, but I really wouldn't trade. If you have a platform that First of all, everything I do is fist intense. This is not an exact science. So if you have a platform that doesn't allow you to, to change the size exactly, don't worry about it. Who cares? I always have an estimate in my monitor what I think it is going to be that I would could hit it two or three times. It's, I never have exactly do, do, do. It's not like I have 4,200 and you know, shares in there or something. It's, I have an estimate. So I usually always have it at either 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 2,500. It's rare that I would have 3,000 in there. Even if I thought it would be able to take 6,000 shares or something, I probably would still have it at 1,500. And then I'd go boom, 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 and I'd hit it a couple times. So if this, is an, this is not an exact science. 
the, uh, many of the trades that I take, actually, I end up risking more than a thousand. So, you know, if this is, you're not trying to get it down exactly, exactly. And today's a good example here. Why? Because this moves so fast. So if you had sized yourself 490 with the stop at 40 for 50 cents, you, no matter what, everybody got, had ended up risking more than that. If we had been stopped, if we had sized ourselves exactly for 50 cents and we had been stopped, we would have lost more. That didn't happen. We we ended up making money. But I'm just saying this is this is not an exact science. But the but the point is, if to be uh, consistent, you should not be wanting to risk approximately a thousand bucks or approximately five hundred dollars, and ended up taking two three times or not putting a stop. Okay, the worst thing you could do is not put a stop. So let's just say you wanted to take a thousand shares and risk 500 bucks so you did it and say you got filled a couple pennies late no big deal say it stopped you out and you ended up losing 550 bucks that's not the end of the world what would have been the end of the world is if you took it wanted to risk 500 dollars bought a thousand shares didn't put the stop in at all then it came all the way down and fell all the way down to 55 something and you ended up losing a thousand because you forgot to put the stop and then you ended up losing double the amount and that's what can screw you up when you have a loss on a day you don't want the loss to be two three times what your normal losses are so it should be close to it it doesn't mean it's it's going to be exact it's not going to be exact it's not exact for me it's a roundabout number because you got to get in the trade you got to take the trade. So I always, and this is, this is like, let's just say your normal risk, say you average maybe a thousand shares, then have it set up for 250, 250, 250, 250. You can take it, you can hit the button four times, or you can hit the button twice and have it set up for 500. I'd rather see you do that. And that is what I do. I, I do not have exactly, do, 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 I mean, no, but you don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm estimating. Actually, this was a good stop in this today. I can't lie. I mean, this was actually really a good stop for the stock. Um, you know, I was tight with the stop. I felt like we could be. I felt like it was warranted. This is not a cheap stock. It's kind of expensive. We don't normally trade things around this price point. This was a good stop for this today. We've had some things in the last month that have been twice as much of a stop as this and way less expensive. So we, we lucked out here today. The, the July 4th trading gods were with us here to have a good one for the holiday. Because I, I, I was this morning, I was like, oh, gosh, I don't think I'm going to do anything. But, the, but you know, but then, but then we did. Kara? So I, I hope that answers your questions. But, you know, you can be on DOS, you can be in Sterling. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that Sterling is the best platform in the world, though, because it really, it really, it really isn't. And none of them are. I mean, I wish I could say this is the best platform in the world or whatever. I, there is none best platform in the world. Someday, maybe I will invent a platform that will be the best platform in the world. There's pros and cons to all of them. Some of them have good charts, but then some of them don't have good execution systems. Some of them have good execution systems and terrible charts. So you got to find something that works for you. I've never used Think or Swim. People swear and die by it. But you do have to have charts, and you do have to be able to get in. But if you press the button, everyone should be able to get in. I do not put orders out ahead to get me out when I'm in or to get me in when I want to get in because I think it, it happens too fast. So I don't put the market orders out. I use the hotkeys. That is something, though, that I do think that you should have is a hotkey. Best trader, did you did you actually do this, best trader? Because it did work. It actually This actually did work in here. And, and you got to learn how to use the hotkeys if you're going to use them at the platform you're at. You're trying to keep the platform face down? Yeah, I I'm totally support that. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to change if you don't want to. It's a, it's, a, it's a hit and miss, though, people. Usually, we talked about this the other day. Frisco is asking me how do brokers make money. Bottom line is that they're all making money somehow. So if, they're, if you're getting a free platform, they're making money on the back end and the commissions for you. If they're making money on the commissions, then they're probably giving you a free platform. It's they're making money. So they're making money both ways. This did work. 
Should the number of shares to trade have something to do with the stock price? No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. I never said that. What? No, that has to do with here. This is an example. I'll just let's. It, it here. No, no, no. We're talking about the quantity of the risk for the dollars and cents. It's two different things. Seven stream. Seven stream. If your risk in this here, if you entered the stock at fifty-seven, or I'm sorry, fifty-six ninety times a thousand shares, you would have needed fifty fifty-six thousand nine hundred dollars in buying power. So if you had a proprietary day trading account, the cash value would have needed is what? 5690 And if you're at a retail place, you need 25 k minimum no matter what. And you would have 100000 in BP, so you would have been able to cover that position. So that's the, that's, that was the cost of the position to enter the trade with 1,000 shares, which has nothing to do with the risk. Your risk, again, this is if you had a perfect fill and everything else would have been 500 bucks with a 50 cent stop. And that's why you come up with a thousand shares. So, but you gotta have a stop in. Someone else asked me that the other day too. They said you have an unlimited risk. No, you don't. You don't when you put a stop. And even if the stop doesn't hit you exactly at 56.40, it's gonna hit you out whether it's five cents into it or 10 cents into it. But a stock like Nike, we would have been hit out. We would have been hit out pretty close to the number, if not the exact number. Um, so, you know, the only time when we get ugly fills out of trains when we get stopped is when they go aggressively against us and never go into the money and we get stopped out immediately almost or very quickly and they go against us and then we are out and we sometimes get not good fills and it might fill you 20 30 cents past the stop but it's you still get out and it's never like twice the amount but it might be a little bit more but actually i can't remember the last time that happened now i did go back and look at this yesterday what was the one <sighs> shoot what did we do yesterday it's on the top of my tongue i can't remember fred No, good way about looking at trading is because one or two stocks a day commission should not be whose driver exactly. This thing here, we really did a good job with this. I went back and looked at this and I was like, holy cow. Um, this flew then over the high. Let's just see what time of the day it did it. And we had a, we had a good trade in this and it went to the target and we got out so happy. Actually, this didn't this didn't have a, a, a crappy move over the high. But let's just say, let's just say this did go over the high. It this didn't do something here. Let's use this chart over here because this looks better. This this looks really bad. So pretend this is a one minute chart, which it's not. It's the daily. But say you were in it and you hadn't gotten out, and then you get a thing like this, you know, which is totally unexpected and stops you. It really didn't do that in the one minute chart. You would have gotten filled if you had to stop over the high, if you hadn't gotten out positive in the trade in the morning with me. But anyways, this really flew up. But do you see it still then came all the way down? And look, I have no idea why this did this. Because the market fell yesterday too. I have no idea why I did that spike. But anyways, sometimes we get not good fills, sometimes. But it's, it's, not, it's not all the time. And it's usually because I, I pretty much try to keep us out of stuff that's dangerous to trade. Everyone should be out of Nike now. Flew all the way up, 57, uh, 58, 20 it got to. It could very well reset up again. But it's 10 o'clock on a Friday on the holiday weekend. Why would you do anything else? Did everyone make money today? Everyone on the planet. Except for discipline dude because he didn't do it. So the number of shares does have to do with it. Uh, seven streams. It has to do with your difference between your entry and your stop. 
But you also have to have the buying power. But remember on the sheet, that's why you're writing on the sheet number of share number of shares. That's in case you have a more expensive stock, which which you could have you could have encountered this for something more expensive today, you know, if you had a small account. Oh, Susanna didn't do it. Susanna now has sworn off longs, my guess is. <laughs> After one of the ones from last week. Um, I talk about hotkeys. As far as execution, we talk about entries. I don't know what you mean by execution. I don't teach a platform specifically because I'm not a proponent of any, any platform per se. I show you how I have my hotkeys set up, which you can set up anyway in any platform wherever you have them. But I don't, I don't review platforms exactly. I do go over entries and I do go over exits. If that's what you mean by execution, yes, I teach the entries and the exit signs and targets, but I don't go over platforms. Like I said, I mean, I think I, there isn't, I can't say there's one platform that has everything great. I wish there was. But you can learn the basic gist of the hotkeys and stuff in my class to be able or ask me questions to be able to go and call your broker and say I want to set it up like this and then you just tell them how you want to set it up and actually sometimes they'll just set it up for you if they can hop on if they have the ability to hop onto your computer and take it over and just set up your hotkeys for you and your platform then just let them do it this could set up again but I would Probably not do it unless it sets up in a 15 minute. And it, and it might just go again here, it looks like. Good job, everybody that stuck with the week. Okay. We I had determined that I was gonna have a good week this week. I I had decided I was going to and I did. So it was a slow week. Did a very good job with it. We're definitely taking next week off. Oh, I said I'd look up what we have next week. Unless you, if you want to do anything. But I, I, in my professional opinion,